note you left me? Me and our baby only left the hospital today. What do you mean you're going on an onsen vacation with your family? Are you out of your mind? What is it? You're so loud. Is it bad to go on an onsen vacation with your family? What's bad is your timing. Huh? Well, I guess winter is best if you want to go to the onsen, but who cares if we go in the spring? That's not the problem. You know that today is the day me and the baby get out of the hospital, right? You didn't come at the time you promised, so I had to call a taxi and went home by myself. But when I got home, you're going to leave me and your baby who was just born two weeks ago to go on vacation? If you left the hospital, that means you're fine now, right? If that's the case, then who cares if I go somewhere for a bit? Leaving the hospital doesn't mean you fully recovered when it comes to childbirth. It's called a postpartum. It'll take six to eight weeks for my body to fully recover. Oh, mom and dad said they're going to go in the onsen now, so bye. I'll be home in three days, so look forward to my gifts. Costa? I can't wait to get in the onsen. Bye! <laughs> I haven't finished talking to you. Hello, Gianna. How are you feeling? And how's the baby? Oh, hi, Mother. Well, you see, I'm nearby your house since I had to do something for work. Is it fine if I come and visit? I know it's only been one day since you left the hospital, but... Are you nearby? Yep. I'm at a station right now, so it will probably take me about 30 minutes by train to get there. Please come immediately. What? Did something happen? Should I ask Costa and his parents to come too? It's only been me and the baby in the house since yesterday. Huh? Do you mean that you're alone with the baby you just gave birth to? What about Costa and his parents? When I came home from the hospital yesterday, no one was here. I wondered where they had went, which is when I found a note saying that they were going on an onsen vacation. Huh? Hold on. Gianna, it's only been one week since you gave birth, right? That's right. When I got out of the hospital, no one came to pick me up. What did you say? Never mind. I'll be there immediately, so hold on. I can't believe it. Hi, Gianna. Sorry to keep you waiting. I got a taxi from A Station, so I'll be there soon. Mother, thank you so much. Uh... But are you done with work already? Yep, I just needed to give the company a report via email. But one of my colleagues who I told about the situation said to leave it to them. I got permission for my office to leave early as well. I see. Well, that's lucky, I guess. Yep, my colleagues are very reliable people. But still, if this is going to happen, then you should have come home and gave birth there instead. That's actually what I wanted to do. But Costa and his parents said that no one would be around to do the housework if I went home. They said no because they want you to do the housework. Why don't they just do it themselves? They don't do any housework. I do it all on my own since they think that it's the wife's job to do the housework. Even Costa's mother just lays around all day. So that was what was happening. Why didn't you tell me about it sooner? I was sort of brainwashed by them. Huh? But when I saw the note saying that they were going to go on vacation as a family, I was shocked, since I realized then that I wasn't family to them. I spent the whole evening thinking about it while taking care of the baby. And then you said that you would come and help me. That's when I thought to myself, why am I putting up with this? And realized what they were doing to me. I see. I'll be there soon. Okay. Hey, Gianna. That reminds me, you were really upset during yesterday's conversation, right? Is it that you're mad that we went on vacation without you? Come on, don't you think that can't be helped? Mom said that during the first month the baby doesn't have much immunity yet, and so you can't put them in baths and only shower them for the first month, otherwise they might get a bacterial infection. Which means that the baby wouldn't have been able to come, right? Don't you even understand this? Oh, don't tell me you actually didn't know. <sighs> I don't think that's good considering you're a mother now, Gianna. If you don't want to be a failure of a mother, then make sure to take care of the baby and do the housework well. Aren't you the one who's a failure? 
What? You're a failure of a father. And you're a failure of a husband. Hell, what am I saying? You're a failure of a human. Um, this is Gianna's mother, Silva, right? Long time no see, Costa. Uh, long time no see. What is it suddenly with the insults? Even if you are my mother-in-law, that's a bit too rude. I don't want to hear that from the person who treated my daughter so terribly up until now. Huh? One week after Gianna gave birth, when she was supposed to come home from the hospital, not only did you not congratulate her, but you didn't even pick her up, it seems. Worse than that, apparently you and your parents went on an onsen vacation. Uh, um, is it the case that... Are you at her house right now? Yes. I was nearby since I had to do something for work. So I contacted my daughter to ask her if I could visit her and my newly born granddaughter. Which is when she told me that... Just what is the meaning of this? Well, um, she can go home on her own since she's already an adult, right? And I heard that babies can't go in hot springs until a month after they're born, meaning that we wouldn't be able to bring them with us, so... What? Is that why you left my daughter who just gave birth and her one-week-old daughter on her own and go on vacation? Huh? Is it bad? You know, I think I've thought about what I can and can't do to help Gianna up until now in my own way. Have you heard of a postpartum before? Huh? Oh, the thing where women don't have much strength in their bodies after they give birth, right? But it's already been one week, so Gianna is fine already. So you think that she's already back to normal? Yes, one week is enough to recover from a bit of tiredness. Oh, are you one of those overprotective parents, Silva? Come on, you can't do that anymore. Gianna is my wife now, so would you please stop treating her like a child? Who told you that information? What? Because I don't think you would look that up on your own. I heard it from my mother. Why? She's the only person in my family who has experience giving birth, so what she says must be true. I see. So that's the root of all the problems. What? What do you mean, the root of all the problems? Costa, you're the one who needs to get away from your parents. Huh? What your mother is telling you isn't true. And considering the fact that she's given birth herself, it's highly likely that she told you false information on purpose. But there's no way my mom would do such a thing. Not only did you completely believe what your mother said and not bother to do some research on your own, you didn't notice that your mother was trying to hurt Gianna as well. You don't have the right to be a father. What? Why? Anyways, even if I am your wife's mother, you probably don't like me staying here for too long while you guys are gone. So I'll bring Gianna and her baby with me and go home. What? Usually I would want to avoid traveling long distances right after birth, but it can't be helped. My husband is heading to us right now with a car, and he's already attached the baby seat. But my parents haven't seen their grandchild even once yet! Don't you understand how I feel? I want to let them carry their grandchild in their arms. So your parents come first over your wife, huh? I mean... You... The father never noticed that your mother exposed this very same grandchild to danger just so she could bully my daughter. Huh? There's no way my mom is bullying Gianna. If you have no intention of understanding, then fine. I'm going to be bringing Gianna and her baby with me. Goodbye. You actually went with your parents? Hey, Gianna, you're not being fair. You let your mother see her grandchild, but you wouldn't let my parents see her, and just went home. The only reason we didn't bring you with us on the onsen vacation is that you wouldn't be able to enjoy it anyways if the baby couldn't bathe. If you want to go on an onsen vacation that much, then we can just go another time. Stop throwing a tantrum over something as little as this. You always did never get the point, huh? What? The reason that my mother took me home with the baby is to protect me from your mother's bullying and because she was worried about me and the baby's future when you, the father, is a complete idiot. The fact that you didn't bring me with you to the onsen vacation isn't the problem. It's that you went on vacation right after I gave birth. Uh... If you have any intention of understanding what me or my mother is telling you, then maybe stop believing everything your mother tells you from now on and start thinking for yourself. Well. It won't change the fact that I want to divorce you, though. Divorce? Once things settle down, we're going to hire a lawyer to take care of things. 
Unless my feelings toward you don't miraculously change somehow, consider me and our baby gone from your life. What? No! Gianna, please! I was wrong! I don't want to get divorced over something like this! Gianna! That was how I returned home with the baby I had just given birth to. The back seat of my dad's car was made to recline all the way, so I was able to make the journey home without much stress on my body. Right now I'm taking care of the baby with the help of my parents, and also waiting for my body to recover. In the end, I divorced Costa after that without ever seeing him again. Not only did we have them pay for child support, but we also made them pay an alimony for all the harm Costa's mother had done to me until then. It seems that they were forced to sell their house to get the money that they needed. They were able to pay it off without going into debt, but in the process they had used all their savings. Not only that, but now I, who worked from home and made the most money in that house, was gone. They suddenly found it difficult to get by. The three of them live in a tiny apartment, relying on my husband's salary which was only half that of mine, and it seems they still argue over whose fault it was that they were never able to see their grandchild. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time.